Okay, we have Crazy Talk Animator opened, and we have inserted the animal head that we want to animate. The first screen that you get is a screen that allows you to crop the animal that you'll be working on. I've already done that. The next step is, you can see up here, you have four dots that you have to place on the eyes and the mouth. So we're going to place the first, second, the fourth, And the third. And so now we have the setup to actually create the animation. Now this is the basic setup. And if you hit this button, you get the extended. And I always choose the extended just simply because you get a much better take on the animal. Okay, so once we have it pretty well set up, then we're going to test it over here. We're going to click this and we're going to test it. And trust me, you want to take the time to get this right, because once you've got it set, you're going to be real disappointed when you start talking and you don't like what the mouth is doing. Up, down, left, right, and some natural movement. Eyes closing and blinking. Up, down, left, right. And rolling. So we have the settings. Now we're going to go to the next one. This one will set up the curve of the face. Now I usually move it into place kind of where you want it, but the nose is way down here on this. And so we have to kind of just see which one that we like. And so you can hit the eyeball change it and see if you like. Now that brings the nose up a little more. Now oh, maybe this one. I used Audacity to create my little voice sample that I'm going to use to show you how it looks once you've finished your animal. I've saved my animal. Now I need to import my voice. And so we're going to go back to the main screen and we're going to select our animal and we're going to select the screen that allows us to pick a, a file. Then we're going to pick our file, the pug voice, and it will bring it in and put it on the stage. Wow, look at me. I can talk. I've got a mouth that speaks. Wow. The program also allows you to add movement to the animal. You can right here, you can hit click on the puppet editor and click on the face and you can either pick pre-selected or you can do your own. You can go in here and select certain items. Hit the little eyeball and you can test it by hitting the space key. You can move it around. It's basically all through your mouse. Now when you think you have it down to what you would like, turn on the eyeball. When you think you have what you want, Hit the record button, and as you move your mouse, it will record the movements. Then when you're finished, you just hit the space bar, quit, and let's rewind it and see what we got. Wow, look at me. I can talk. I've got a mouth that speaks. Wow. So we've added movement to our little pug and we're ready to save it as an animation to use somewhere else. You can save it as different file formats in Crazy Talk Animator, which allows you to create these really cute pets. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for your time. If you'd like to see more, like and subscribe and let me know you'd like to see some more. Have a great day, Diana.